This is the Mondak Oil Field Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies, and this is the Mondak Oil Field Review, heard in the Crude Life Media Network. On today's episode, we talk with Senate elect and current U.S. Congressman Kevin Kramer. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Senate elect and current U.S. Congressman Kevin Kramer, right here on the Mondak Oil Field Review. Jason Spies, the most trusted voice in the Bakken. Let's bring in Jason Spies, who is a multimedia journalist in North Dakota. Jason, what's your thought on this? My dad always listens to Jason Spies. No one does an interview like Jason Spies. Jason Spies is the most trusted voice in the Bakken. Love listening to Jason Spies on the radio, and if I miss him there, I catch him online. You know, I don't know what justifies being placed in history books, Jason, but in my book, it's in there. (laughs) This is a good thing. Is your boss watching this? You need a raise. Welcome back to the Mondak Oilfield Review. My name is Jason Spies. Up next, Senate-elect and current U.S. Congressman Kevin Kramer. There, it's starting to impact the energy industry a little bit now. At least I'm hearing rumblings sure. of it through the pipelines. My, my point is, I think in this next 2019, you, you're, you're going to hear a little bit more about the, the impact of the steel tariffs. Well, there's no question, Jason, that as time goes on, you're going to see a greater, uh, more consequential impact. Um, you know, as m- new things are manufactured, as steel is finds its, you know, its markets. There's no question that the, the price impact is, is likely to go up. Uh, on the other hand, you're also seeing more steel plants in the United States uh, being ramped up. You're seeing, you know, some of the old plants that have been, that have been mothballed that are now being restored, restored to active service. And so some of what the president wants to accomplish is actually happening. Now, the other factor is that, that all of these are moving parts. It's, you know, while none of this happens in a vacuum, and a person might say, well, you know, the uh, Section 232 tariffs that deal with national defense are one thing, the 301 tariffs are another thing, and NAFTA is a different thing, and, you know, the bilateral with the European Union is another thing. And while all of that is technically true, I think we all know that everything's a negotiation and all of these moving parts, one has an impact on the other. And as we see more and more trade deals getting closer to being finished or seeing them that have been finished, I do expect that, you know, we'll still see a little bit of a price increase. We'll probably still see some of these tariffs remain in place until such time as our president feels like we're getting a, you know, a decent reciprocal deal globally. To listen to the full-length interview with U.S. Congressman Kevin Kramer or to listen to other Mondak oil field reviews, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. The Mondak oil field review is part of the Crude Life Media Network. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. All of our social media links are available at thecrudelife.com. Click on the social media tab. We have over 350,000 followers here at the Crude Life Media Network. Check out all of our social media pages and feel free to like, follow, share, do all the social media fun stuff right here with the Crude Life Media Network. From the staff of the Mondak Oilfield Review, my name is Jason Spies asking you to keep calm and frack on.